Hey everybody, welcome back to the sanctuary. Saul here. I just wanted to make a uh, quick video about uh, this uh, tree that came down, which uh, I really thought that at first, of course, it must have just been the wind because there was a windstorm going on. But let me set it up just a little bit. Um, this is the cabin site. I've been working on this for a couple of years, getting this all ready for camping. And uh, part of that, what I'm trying to do is to... Uh, give people the chance to camp uh, kind of in these areas where we've had various sound activity occur over the years. So last time I was here I was kind of just getting this prepped up a little bit and cleaned up, get the grass cut back with the trimmer and uh, like I said this looks down into this valley where I mean I've made videos from this vantage point before where we've had sounds and this is, I believe, one of the ways that they come down into the lowlands is through that valley. So I was working on this trail and getting all this kind of cut up in here for people. Um, this is just like a random dead uh, sapling. That's actually from uh, last winter from the storm in February. And I'm just cutting that up for kindling for uh, campers. But uh, when I got here in the uh, middle of the night, there's this one tree right here that's uh, blocking the road, as you can see. That's kind of right adjacent to the area that I was working. Now again, there was a, uh, it was windy when I got here and it was raining. And so that's of course why I thought, well, it's got to be uh, just the wind when I pulled up. I wasn't, of course, thinking anything mysterious. Um, but then... I'm looking around here and you can see that there's not really much else that came down. Um, there's a couple, I guess, uh, really small deadfalls, but um, it, it doesn't look like the the wind really kind of got extreme enough to uh, really take anything of size down. Um, you know, none of this in here, none of this is new. This is all kind of been here and it just almost looks a little out of place um, and then when I walked up to it because I was going to try to just you know get it pushed off the road and everything and uh, I tried pushing it back up um, and it, it didn't really want to go back up and you know it's a live tree so I'm like well why the heck did it come down. Now, I suppose it's possible that somehow me working on the other side of this, in that camping area, um, caused it so that enough wind could kind of come through here in the storm, I guess, and maybe could have weakened it, but I'm going to try to get a shot here. Of, uh, so you can see it's, it's just split. Um, and I'm not sure if that's, you know, if this is what we would expect just from a, a wind event, from it being pushed from up above by the wind, but I don't know. The other thing is that it does seem like they're, I mean, I was gonna, it's kind of weird, I was gonna take that little tree down anyways, but it was pretty wrapped up in these, uh, the rest of the limbs on this, these uh, conifers in here. So that's why it's kind of like, well, how exactly did it get, you know, it, it, like I say, it's a, it's a pretty strong tree, yet when I tried to push it back up, it, it, it doesn't really want to, like, go very easily, and then it had to come down, again, like, out of all of these dead limbs, because you can see it's, it's pretty tall, so it's kind of up there, but... Anyways, I'm still going to say it's the wind, um, but these are the sort of issues that I think about when I see stuff like this, because like I say, if it's just, the, the main thing I guess that makes it slightly odd is just, it's a live tree and it's the, the only thing that seems to have come down, and it is directly adjacent to this work area, um, and directly adjacent to these, uh, to this valley where we've had plenty of um, 
you know, different sound events happen. So, okay, well, thanks for tuning in.